Scott Sullivan from Sullivan Hardware and Garden is helping us start with a clean start our new year with a clean slate and get our home ready. Today he's got some tips for how to properly hang a picture. Well, I've hesitated to bring you to aisle number one in our store. Aisle number one is fasteners. And the reason I've hesitated because I always thought this segment could be possibly the most boring thing that I've ever done. Uh, but it's January. So January is kind of boring. I thought we would go ahead and I'll do this thing. And I'll promise I'll, I'll never bother you again about it. It's about hanging things. You know, we got all our Christmas gifts and maybe we got some wall art or maybe you're doing a little remodeling. The way people hang stuff is terrifying, quite honestly. The, the, the nail. I mean, it's amazing how many things are on a nail. They just put a nail in. And again, for a little light things, that's fine. But even then, you should get a packaged, you know, some of the, uh, uh, a packaged wall hanger. That's a little, you can't really see that very well. But, you know, for one pound, two pound. But things that are heavy mirrors or heavy art, those need to be done properly. And nobody seems to do that. Now I'm sounding like an old man, aren't I? So, uh, back in the day, back in the day, uh, we would use mollies and toggles. So this is, a, this is what's called a molly bolt, right? So you might be asking, who is Molly? I don't know. I don't, I don't know who Molly is, but she has a great fastener. Uh, and so the way this works, you just take the molly, you pound it, it, you drill a hole, I should say. That's the problem. So many times people want to pound everything through the drywall. And when you do that, it blows out the back of the drywall. So it'll, it'll blow it out and then you have less, less surface to secure whatever you're, you're hanging. So use a drill, this is quarter inch, then you tap it in there. So that's what it looks like behind the wall. Then what you would do is you would take a screwdriver and you start to tighten that down. And as you tighten it down, these little wings fold back. And so now that's securely locked in to the drywall, so now I take the screw back out of it, and maybe I'm just hanging a wire over it, so I just back it off and I'll hang a wire there. Maybe I'm gonna put a bracket on it, or it's gonna go through a shelf or something like that. You can take it all the way back and that, that shell is locked in there. So the Molly is a really old school fastener. I know there's a lot of new ones and stuff. This Now this is like a Molly, and I, and I gotta say, this has Molly's name on it, but I, I gotta think that she doesn't approve of it because this is one that you actually pound in. See a little nail? But it does the same thing. It blows out the back of the drywall. Get a drill bit and do it the right way. All right, the other way, if, if you're hanging, the heaviest thing you can think, this is called a toggle bolt. The toggle bolt has the widest distance that you're pulling. The, the wider it is, the more support from the drywall. So it takes a little bigger hole. This, I put a little bulldog hook on it. You push it through and then you tighten it down and then you see what you have behind the wall. Way better than your nail, all right? So I don't know if the toggle people and Molly knew each other or not. Yes, there's a lot of things. So I guess really what I'm saying is stop using nails. It can be dangerous. Do it right. Could be a New Year's resolution to properly hang your wall art. You never know. Thanks, Pat. See, good information, not boring.